Hello again, it's Matt Radford here from roofer.com and today I'm going to show you how to create your own measurement reports with our Draw It Yourself measurement software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in to your roofer dashboard and you'll see right here on the left hand side there is a menu. We have leads, measurements, business loans, consumer loans and calculator. And today we're going to be looking in the measurements tab. Once you're in the measurements tab, what you can do is you can create your own measurement report using our Draw It Yourself software or click on report service and order a report from us where we do it for you for $10 and deliver it to you within hours. Right now we're going to look at how to create your own measurement report. So click the create measurement button and it will take you into the screen where you can type in the address you're looking to measure. Once you see the address appear on the drop down menu, select the correct address and if you like, you can put in the customer full name, email address, and phone number so it shows up on your roofer measurement report. And then click Submit. Now you're gonna see there's a variety of options available for you to choose. Uh, we have Bing images, which are free. There's no charge for that. In some areas, the Bing images might be a little bit blurred. So we also have near maps and first base images available depending on where you are, where you're located. You can also upload drone images into your dashboard for free as well. And I'll touch on that in another video later on. And today we're going to look at these images up here, the near maps images. You start off with three free credits when you first make your roofer account. If you'd like to purchase more credits for these premium images, you can check out our pricing here. You can buy 10 premium images for $35 US all the way to 250 premium images for $500 US. So the more you buy, the more savings there is. Once you have your premium image credits, you can see here that you have multiple images to choose from. And these are taken at different times of years. So if there's leaves on the trees, you might have one that doesn't have any leaves on the trees. Now you see here that part of the garage of this home is cut off. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out so I can get the entire home in the picture. If for any reason, this image shows up in the middle of a field or in the middle of a street, you can click here to adjust the map center Center it over the home, click confirm. And then again, just make sure you're zoomed out. Once you have your image and you have it centered properly, just click draw it myself. And this will take you into the draw it yourself roof measurement tool. Okay, so I'm going to do a roof measurement here for you. What I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to square it up on the screen. I want it to be nice and straight. So I bring up this grid down here at the bottom. There's a bunch of different menu items here. You can zoom in, zoom out, and you can also rotate the image from here as well. So I'm going to rotate the image until I have it nice and straight according to this Eve right here. I'll zoom in a little bit, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a nudge to make sure it is nice and straight. Perfect. So from there, all it is is point and click. I'm going to start on the outside edge with the Eve and just work my way around the perimeter. Okay, I'm gonna do this really fast. So hold on tight. Let me take a sip of my coffee here. Okay, and here we go. Okay, great. So now that that is complete, what I'm going to do is I need to draw this upper level up here. I've drawn the lower level and over here I've gone underneath this overhang over to the wall. But now I need to draw the overhang. So what do I do? I go here where it says all layers and I'm going to add a B layer. That will grayscale out the lower level so now I can draw the upper level. So I can also add in the garage if I like. I can put it on whatever layer I want. I'm gonna put it on the same level as the lower layer of the house. And I'm gonna get this garage drawn in here too, just to make sure we include everything. That's pretty close. Beautiful, okay, so there we have it. I go to all layers and I take a look, make sure I didn't miss anything. So now what I like to do is start at the top which is this upper layer here and mark the edges. So I'm gonna click edges up here in the upper left corner and it's going to bring up a menu on the right hand side. And I just work my way down the menu. So I'll start with eaves and just point and click and mark the different aspects of the roof. I got hips, ridges, rakes, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the lower level and 
the garage. On this level here, you'll notice that I am not going to mark the valleys where I already marked them on the upper level. So I marked them here on the upper level. If I try to mark the same valleys on the lower level, it will glow red and warn me that I already marked them on the upper level. That prevents me from double marking the valley and ordering twice the material that I didn't need. So I'm just going to leave these ones unspecified on this layer, but I will mark the rest of my valleys as need be. I'll do my hips and then ridges. I should have marked the eaves on this one as well. I keep forgetting about this poor garage over here. It keeps getting left out. So ridges, rakes. A rake is another name for a gable. And then we have wall flashing and step flashing. So we don't have any wall flashing on this one, but we do have the step flashing. So that's it. Now we have it all marked out. We're going to go to all layers. And now what I need to do is input the pitch. So I'm going to click facets up here. It's going to cause the whole thing to glow red. And then I need to figure out what the pitch is. So down at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click view pitch and it will take me to a pitch finder on the screen that I can line up with the gable end. And I can see that's a 512. I can set, go over and center it over the garage if I want. And I see that here it is a 512. So what I can do is I can click 512 and go around and just, you know, click each individual slope, which is great if you have multiple pitches on one roof. But for this one, I know it's all 512. So I'm just going to click these arrows and turn the whole thing 512. And that's it. The report is ready to download. So I can click download here. I can email it to myself or I can download it or I can download it with my logo, which replaces the roofer.com logo with the company logo. So right now I'm just going to download the PDF so you can have a look at it. And this is the same report that you get whether you do it yourself or whether you order it from us for $10. You have a color image of the home on the first page. The second page gives you a map location of the home. The third page will give you a layout, an overall layout of the roof. Next, you have all of your linear measurements. Here you have the different areas of the different slopes. Next, you have the pitch and the direction of each slope. Here you have a summary of structure one, which is the main house, and it gives you all of your measurements, your eaves, valleys, hips, ridges, rakes, wall flashing, step flashings, transitions, your hips and ridges combined, your eaves and rakes combined for your starters, the number of squares, plus it gives you your waste factors. Then you get the same thing for the garage as well. And you get one for the two structures combined, complete with waste factors. So that's it. I made this report by myself for the price of a delicious cup of coffee or anywhere from $2 to $3.50. You can sit here and create measurement reports all day long. It saves you a drive, you know, saves you a lot of travel time, saves you a lot of hassle. Time and money are things that we are very short on these days. So uh, this helps you save a little bit of both. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or your roofer representative, and we can walk you through this. We can train you on how to use it. We can train your team on how to use it. Maybe you have someone in your office who's an administrator all day who can sit and do uh, measurement reports for you where you just go out to the field and send them an address and they can do them for you instantly. We can train them. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you want to train anyone on your team to do these measurement reports, and we'll get you set up. You have a great day.